hello welcome back to the channel in this video i want to give you the best hydrosol to use to make your skincare products whether you're making lotion or you're making toner you're making shampoo or you're making mist any product you want to use the great addition okay your water phase a uh, hydrosol you can substitute your some of your water with hydrosol to improve you know the function of your skincare product so here here are the list of the hydrosols that i use and i'll tell you what what i use them for number one is neroli hydrosol neroli hydrosol is a very good hydrosol uh, for lightening the skin okay neroli is superb when you're making products for to lighten the skin is uh is a bit related to the, the citrus family it smells really amazing it adds beautiful floral smells to your formulation. So I use the Roli a lot in most of them. So what I do is just, I just substitute some of my, I might use it at 10%. Uh, Sometimes depending on my customer uh, specification, I can even use it as much as 30%. So because I make custom skincare products, so uh, it's a very, very good uh, hydrosol to use. Another hydrosol. The, let me show you how Neroli is. Neroli is as clear as anything. It's so clear. This is how it is. Okay. Even though it's a bit uh, clear on the but it's the the orangey. Like I said, the orange is uh, color distinguishes, but it smells smell really really amazing. That's Neroli hydrosol, and it smells really really out of this world. Very beautiful. Another hydrosol you can use to make your skincare product is rose hydrosol. Rose is amazing for sensitive skin. So if you are formulating any product for sensitive skin or you want to just have lovely, beautiful floral smell, you want to give a rose hydrosol a try. Rose hydrosol has been used over the years to make toner. So it's, it's very, very, it's a very, very clear hydrosol, okay? It's a very, very clear hydrosol, not too clear also, sorry about that. I think I mix it with uh, Neroli, so it's very amazing. If you want to formulate uh, made a toner or, um, or even your lotion, you want that beautiful rose smell, you want to give this a try, so very, you can substitute it. If your water percent is 70%, we can use 20% uh, hydrosol, you can even use 30%. Okay, remember hydrosol, uh, quite expensive so you want to be careful how you they are very expensive especially if you're buying a original authentic hydrosol they are very expensive so keep that in mind because of the price of your formulation another hydrosol that i recommend when making a product for sensitive skin is chamomile hydrosol even though not that used but if you're making something like um, you're making toner for instance for sensitive skin or even you just want the soothing powerful soothing effect uh, you can use a chamomile hydrosol okay chamomile hydrosol let's check it um, let's check it out how as you can see that's chamomile for you it's a very very great hydrosol okay also you know the, and these are concentrated you know hydrosol if you especially if you're buying it from a reputable supplier it's a very very good uh, it's it's used to make mostly toner okay chamomile and uh, rose are good for toner but you can also add some of them in your be careful with chamomile chamomile often time react with skincare especially if you're making toner often time i've used chamomile um, after solubilizing my oil, I noticed chamomile often time um, have some funny chemical reaction that it can be, it can it can turn cloudy. So be careful when you're using chamomile to make maybe toner for skincare products. Okay, but when you're making toner, chamomile often times turn cloudy. I mean, it's going to be like milk. So keep that in mind as you are formulating. Another grandfather of the of the floral water is tea tree. When you're making a skincare product uh, for uh, acne prone skin, okay, acne prone dry skin, uh, skin that breaks out easily, sensitive skin, you want to include tea tree 
uh, floral water, tea tree floral water, add it with tea tree essential oil, a super, super charged ingredient that can deal with acne breakout. So keep that in mind when you are. You can also use it to make your um, a lotion for sensitive acne prone skin. So keep that in mind, very good. You can substitute it, you can even go as much as uh, 40 to 50%. But remember that it's going to make your final product more expensive because floral water are not cheap. Okay, so the, it's very good. And those are the most popular hydrosols that you, there are others also, lemongrass, rosemary hydrosol, but these four are the most popular hydrosol that I use that are really, really helpful, except the chamomile that often turn cloudy. When you are buying any product from any supplier, you have to make sure you know the expiration date because some, um, some floral water can really mess up your skincare product. They can make everything a mess if they have expired. So you have to make sure you know the expiration date when you are buying it. So one of the suppliers I use, I will give you the list of the, some suppliers. I'm based in Canada. If you're in the US, you are surrounded by suppliers. But if you're in Canada here, you, uh, your supplier options are limited, okay? So I will, I will share that with you in another video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. I'll be uploading a lot of useful video for all formulators, both upcoming and even experienced even brand owner. So if you're a brand owner, uh, you are an experienced formulator, or you are even just getting started, this is the channel for you. Uh, a channel like this is very, very rare on YouTube. So that's why I, I use this to invite you so that we share us together. So don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload new videos. In my next video, I'm going to share with you um, how to increase the efficacy of your preservative. We all use preservative, right? Have you ever thought of any special ingredient to increase the power, to boost uh, the effectiveness of your preservative, right? So I will share that with you in my next video. Thanks for watching.